Well, the Navy divers managed to save two passengers from inside the ship, but how did they discover the survivors and what risks they were up against? CCTV's Joe Rouye caught up with the underwater heroes. They were the first hope for people stuck inside the capsized Eastern Star. 100 hours after saving the life of a young man, the divers recalled the moment they discovered the terrified survivor. Although desperate to survive, he was scared to death. We fumbled through the dark. It was a long 20 minutes. For the divers, saving people is just part of their job. But as the mission turned from one of search to salvage, they found that putting a cable around the vessel just as challenging, if not more. The riverbed was hard to see, a lot of stones. Sometimes we had to crawl ahead. For the divers, not being able to save more people has led to a sense of guilt, one that they obviously don't deserve. When the family members come to the bank, I don't dare look at them. We just want to save more, as many as we can. I know there were a lot of people in the ship. Most of them were my grandma and grandpa's age. It is so sad. But these divers have no time for emotion. As duty calls once again, they will sink into the river, looking for the bodies of still missing. Zhongyue, Tianli, Hubei Province.